back to the channel welcome to the channel if you just come across this video i'm in my comfies i am back home from paris so the last time i was properly vlogging was obviously when we we're in paris so hopefully you all caught up on the packing vlog and what we got up to we had such a fun time at disney and celebrating our anniversary but i'm obviously back now in my comfies it is a cold wet drizzly day but nonetheless i have actually been getting some new in pieces in my wardrobe for the upcoming season of kind of like transitioning into spring so that video might already be live if so i'll link it on the screen or it'll be coming next but you may be watching this vlog on a different day to my usual upload which is normally a sunday but i'm moving my uploads for my vlogs now on a monday evening so hopefully you guys can still watch it and keep up or whenever you're watching this but i feel like it's a long time overdue of catching you guys up on what's happening with the house so we've actually now started the garage renovation which is very very exciting the builders are currently in there now but i'm going to fill you in on everything because it's actually been they've actually been here now for a good week and a bit so we're now on week two of the renovation so all of this has been going on behind the scenes of everything else that is going on at the minute because we are on the three month countdown to the wedding so obviously everything is becoming a bit more like crunch time and doing all the wedding admin as well which i'm going to be filming a separate video a q a with chris to catch you guys up on that as well as you know i'm bringing you along for the ride of the whole wedding journey so yeah we've had a lot going on this new sofa ride we've got the garage going on so at the minute the garage has been split into two parts one of the main parts is going to be my studio which is going to be my office and my filming space which i've been waiting for now for over a year since we've moved into this house but it's just taken time to do and also obviously the cost of it and permission for doing what we need to do as well so we've had a lot of different professionals in we've had constructural engineers we've had contractors we've had architects so they've been kind of in and out we've been having to obviously liaise with them and come up with the plans so i did actually share these plans last year that we had very kind of roughly drafted from an interior designer which i will put on the screen and this was kind of the concept that we originally come up with and we are still pretty much going with this but obviously there's been a few changes along the way so we are going to be creating a little bit of storage space separate in the garage as well so we obviously still have somewhere to store things however this house is actually really good for storage we've also got a loft so we can utilize that but we still wanted to keep an outdoor space for that so as you walk in there's going to be like a little hallway which you can kind of see the makings of now obviously everything in there is a complete mess we are literally starting from the ground up but we have kind of mapped out the area you can see which is going to be the back storage space this is also going to have a pull down ladder which you're going to be able to go up so we're going to have two floors and have second storage up there and then we're going to have either critical doors or sliding doors we're still trying to decide but you can see the map out of where these doors are going to go which will lead in to the studio space i'm so excited to finally have my office and the reason we are actually doing it out in the garage to have that kind of line of this being my house my home and my comfort and that being kind of where i can go and switch into work mode because i struggle with having a switch off and of course even when i'm in the house i'll probably still be working on bits and bobs but for our lifestyle moving forward we felt like this is going to work best for me to have it just across the garden in the garage and we can obviously make it bespoke with adding in lux windows to bring in the light we can really tailor the lighting in there for my filming because as you guys know i've been filming my youtube videos and some other content in a studio at the minute just because i've been struggling with filming in this house so it has just kind of been a makeshift area around the house for the past year until this was going to be built so i'm also going to put some pictures that i've kind of saved from pinterest because plans have changed so we were originally going to make a ceiling and then in the middle of the joists because obviously the garage is being held up by them we we're going to make a section where you could sit the windows and obviously the light coming in and then have this as open but there was just something not sitting right with this plan for me so we have scrapped that and 
The builders have started again, bless them, and we are now gonna have it all open. It's actually my original plan, my original idea, and sometimes I feel like you should just stick to instinct and these things. And although we did try it and kind of come up with this other plan, I feel like this is gonna work better. It's also gonna make the space look bigger because you're gonna literally see up into the ceiling. However, obviously the beams will be exposed. But I do like that look and I feel like it's going to be also in keeping with the house. I don't want it to be a whole separate studio out there. We still want it to be an extension of the house. So the interiors are going to be very similar. I really want to mirror these arches that we've got here on the back wall in the studio. Create really great storage space. Create an area where I can film. Have my workspace. A vanity area. So there's lots of plans. You can see on these images from Pinterest where I've taken a bit of inspo. Obviously the ceiling, the beams, we might be painting them white, we might be kind of making them more of like a reclaimed beam. Also going to be insulating obviously heating, we need to get all the electrics in there. So it's a huge job. So that is all happening at the minute behind the scenes which I don't even feel like I've kind of filled in on socials either because life has just been a little bit busy and obviously we're away. But these plans are really exciting and it's nice now knowing that it's all underway. It is going to take time. This isn't going to be a project that's going to be done in like two, three weeks because there's so much to it. And like I said, we've had to get a lot of people in to help with this and help with ideas like architects and constructural engineers because of the whole concept of basically reconstructing the garage and making sure the roof doesn't fall in. So I'm really happy that's underway. I've, then I've also had some more samples come from the Pure Edit, which I did mention in my last home updates video that we are getting our armchairs built in here and we're also gonna be changing the curtains. So I felt like the thinner fabric just wouldn't work. So they've also sent this one, which I'm kind of contemplating at this or basically the middle one for the curtains, if it's picking it up on the camera. So yeah, this is also going to be underway. We need to get the fireplace fitted. I feel like this living room has kind of taken a bit of a backseat and the whole house, to be honest, because we've been busy. So over the next few days and in this vlog, I'm going to be painting. I want to redecorate a little bit and do some styling, go home shopping. I need to go to Ikea. I need to decide on samples. There's lots going on and I love doing all this home stuff and hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos as well of me taking you along because doing a house up, like what they say, Rome was never built in a day. I mean, we've been in this house now over a year and I feel like sometimes I never take a step back and realise how much we've done already but there's still so much to do and we're also coming up with ideas and plans for knocking this through and doing the big kitchen renovation after the wedding. I'm going to finish making some of these inspo boards. I find it's really useful when I'm giving it to the contractors as well so they can kind of visualize what I have in mind and there's so many decisions to be made like they're asking where plug sockets are going already, what lights, so I've got lots to do and start ordering and I'll also share them with you. So I feel like Meanwhile this little guy is turning into a massive floof ball. We went on a big walk this morning and I've given him a bath but it's just so rainy, I keep having to bath him, hence why he's still a little bit wet. But you're having a cosy afternoon, aren't you, whilst I finish off editing. And then it's pancake night, so we're going to do some pancakes when Dad gets home, hey? Right, let's make some lunch. I think I'm going to do chicken, chimkin, Caesar, salad. <laughs> just had some new coffee table books come in sorry if you can hear the coffee machine in the background I'm on my coffee number two of the day but 
I am obsessed with Amber Lewis's interior style. So I got her new book. I actually had to pre-order this on Amazon and it's come. And then I've also got Shea McGee. So I feel like these are two of my top interior designers that I love. And they've made these gorgeous coffee table books, which are also just full of so much inspo. So let me just show you because I get so much of my design inspo from Amber. She honestly creates the perfect kind of like earthy tones within her designs and she adds texture. It's just made me a bit more experimental with playing around with stuff in the house rather than everything being so like dead set neutral. Like how beautiful is this bathroom? When we renovate, we're looking at doing something like this with the shower. But yeah, I just love it. I think this is a great source and way to get inspo rather than always kind of looking online. I love to just have a book, sip through with a coffee and sometimes I just get so many good ideas from these. So I've got that one and then also the Shea McGee one, which is The Art of Home. I've also got a few of her books, but I'm just putting some on at the coffee table now because I'm just having a bit of a rejig here in the living room. I feel like I changed the coffee table so many times and I found my Soho home candle that I've had and it comes in this beautiful kind of marble glassware so I've got that on here and then I thought I'd share this with you guys I think it's a really cute idea I've got this glass box that I've had from H&M home and I've just filled it with loads of Polaroids I found loads of pieces that I lost within the move and I found so many of my old Polaroids of like family friends and I just think it's such a great way of like having talking points well when people come over they can look through them especially obviously because we always have our family and friends over and there's just so many memories in here I think I think it's nice to display it in a little box like this so I thought I'd share it with you guys if you're wanting a little design idea and it's nice to have on the coffee table. My best friend also surprised me with these beautiful flowers for helping organise her hen do. We had so much fun last weekend and I've put them in this vase from Home Barn. So yeah I'm just playing around with the coffee table. I want to have a little bit of rejig here. You can see there's some gaps. Just have a bit of a restyle and a refresh. I actually love doing this now and then. He is obsessed with watching the builders, as you can see. And then I actually uploaded this photo on my home account. And a lot of you are asking, like, where's this photo frame from? And it's literally just Samsung frame TV, which is amazing. So let me show you. You go into the art here. And they've just released some new pictures on there and I thought how perfect this dog and you can mount it with a frame but I obviously just mount it as it is and it's just a great way to fill the space and it looks like a vintage frame obviously I know a lot of you probably already know about the Samsung frame so you can skip this part but they've just updated it and I thought I'd show you that they've got some new cute designs but yeah the shelves are looking a little bit empty here so I need to have a play around and see what we can do So this is where we're currently at with the garage at the minute. You can see the sections are really starting to kind of come together now. So we've built, I say we, the builders have built the wall here. Obviously we're going to be putting a door here. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually going to be this door, but if so we'll be painting it and making it all right. And then we hired the electrician in to do all of the electrics which you can kind of see hanging at the different points that we've got and where we're also going to be having sockets 
so there's going to be loads of different sockets so I can have a different light in and then from the middle I'm not sure if you can see it up there the wires that's where I'm going to have like a big hanging light I'm thinking like a chandelier style here in the middle and then there's going to be wall lights on these two walls kind of like the picture lights as these are going to be curved built-ins kind of to mirror the living room which I've spoke about before but obviously it's so hard to envision it at the minute the flooring the installation has started to be put up up here then we're going to be doing a shiplap wooden panels in white these are also going to be painted white the flooring is starting to go down and then up here which is what they've mainly been working on is where we're going to start putting basically all of this crap that was in the garage we're going to sort through all of this what we need what we don't need and then this is our storage up here so obviously this isn't going to be on show that's going to be all ship black panelled as well up here but this is what they've basically been building this week and it's took them obviously a while because they've had to properly border it up and then they've installed the ladders which is perfect so this just folds all up and goes up to the top so this is obviously all going to be a plastered wall here and this is going to be the storage area so it just means we've basically got two levels of storage now in the garage to really utilize the space so i'm going to start sifting through all of this crap this has literally been like a year's worth of just sitting here since we've moved and not going through it so this is our job to do today and then this is going to be the little hallway area here. So this is going to be a crystal door. Then in here on this back wall, you can see obviously the door comes out further this way because I want to do not like a built-in, but kind of like a little mini basically mud room because we're going to have a mud room in the kitchen on the side in the utility when we do that but I just want this to be because it's going in and out of the garage in the storage space just somewhere we can put like the wellies have like a coat rack maybe do a little thing with some logs so I'll insert a picture of the inspo because obviously as it looks right now is a complete mess So they need to make the ceiling and we'll make it all the same colour once it's all done. But we have spent hours clearing this all out. It's took ages but it feels so good having a declutter, doesn't it? This is just basically everything <laughs> we're getting rid of this palace. This is all going to be recycled and going to the I tip. I can't believe you've kept that much clutter. It's not all mine. That's literally all yours. Christmas I mean, decks, baby cot. Just random crap, basically. Um, so yeah, it's all cleared out now for the next stage to begin on Monday. So they're going to be working in here, the storage space. There we go, got a bit of light so you can see. Going to work in the storage space next. So I'll give you updates once that's all finished. But as you can see, it's literally just like a building site at the minute. But I'm going to visualise how it's going to all look when it's all finished. He basically a larger said, wall yeah no and said you can't go beyond this no yeah obviously the, the window won't be that big but the thought of having to 
utilise this space and do a big window, I think will work well. Down there, across. I've got the measurements for it, of how big we can go in terms of like, the truss and the bricks. But, I love this window, it's the Georgian sash one, same as in the house, obviously this one's not double glazed, but I just think, why not utilise this wall and bring in a lot more light and make it a feature. So again, I'll put on the screen some of the ideas I've got for this window so you guys can kind of envision it. But I've just realised as well, they've moved the fuse box over, which is good. So that's going to be hidden behind the wall. So I thought it'd be easier to show you the original render plan so you can kind of get a better understanding. And this was the original plan we had to have the beams exposed like this. But as you can see with this, this is kind of like lime washed and it doesn't have the shiplap panelling which we are now choosing to do in the ceiling which i think is going to make such a difference also this is just an original render plan by an interior designer rebecca taylor these aren't specific you know furniture that we're going to have it's just to show an overall feel how we're going to have the doors in the space that they're going to be where the desk is going to be how we're going to be doing at the back built-ins with the arches and just the overall space, so this is done by the actual spec of the space as well to understand how much we can fit in there. Because on one wall, I also want to do a vanity like this, as you can see, maybe not so much of a built-in, but just kind of like a beauty area. And then on the back wall is gonna be where I can film. So this is gonna be set up a little bit different to these plans. Obviously the lighting will be changing and this reformer bed isn't in proportion, but we're also looking to do this space as being kind of like a two in one where I can film and then also have a foldable reformer bed as well with a big mirror. So I can really utilize this space for working, working out, just having it as my hub. So you can kind of see from a view of this side of the room, how it's gonna work. I'm still deciding on the floor of how I actually want that to be, but this just kind of gives you an overall feel of the render plans. And obviously this is with the original window that we have now, which we're looking to change as well. And then I also just wanted to share some of the inspo boards where I pull images from Pinterest and different sources. And I also give these to the contractors so they can kind of vision what I have in mind and how I want it to look. So there's different kind of images here. You can see how I've been picking out images for how I want the back wall to be, how I want the windows and the doors to be. Also just a little bit of the exterior here because we're going to be putting lights and stuff on the outside. And then also giving them the feel of functional space to have Pilates there as well. And then this is the most up-to-date mood board, just kind of picking out some pieces. And also this gives you a better feel of how the roof is gonna look with the beams and the shiplap paneling. So I've also pulled an image here for the mud room, which is gonna be going in the hallway. And again, it's just really easy for them to see this and understand what I have in mind. So I thought I'd just share this all at the end of the video to kind of bring it all to life so you can see what's going on in my head Head and hopefully how the final outcome will be but I'm so excited to share this journey with you of the whole renovation of my office studio so guys, thank you.